Shalom. <clears throat> I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Shalom, Wakasayim, Wabarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings unto all of you, Sequanyu, Wakim, to the Old Fulek, to the House of David, to the One Third. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists, that he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the so called African Americans, blacks, Negroes, colored, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Mexicans, Cubans, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans. Okay, all of the indigenous people of the New World, so called North and South America. We actually make up the lost 12 tribes of Israel. According to the Bible, we have biblical tribal names from Judah to Issachar. The so called white men, they're not white, they're red. They are the Idumeans, according to the Holy Bible. The scriptures prophesied that the earth will be given into the hand of the wicked and that he will be the end of the world. As it is written, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. And we know that Jacob's name was changed into Israel or Yashar Allah, which means he's the prince of the power. Or Yisrael, all right, which means he's the seed of the power. Okay, so uh, it's a lot going on in the spirit. You know, and uh, I've been under the weather the past about uh, three or four days, you know, but I, I've i still been watching, <clears throat> you know, but I wasn't in the, in the state to do lessons, you know. So I just want to jump right into this, uh, into the spirit, and I pray this be edifying and, and uh, informative. And before I actually get into the article, I want to bring out this scripture. This is the spirit that we should all be in. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 19, and verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. I write the real name of the Son, who the world calls Jesus Christ, is Yahweh Shai Hamasiach, and that's how you would say it in the ancient Hebrew, or the Paleo Hebrew, or the Lashavan Kodash, the, uh, the Holy Tongue. Okay, worship Yahweh. All right, the real name, the name of the Heavenly Father is not God, it's not. Yahweh is Yahweh, okay, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Now, let's go into what this word prophecy means here in the blue letter. It says, I'm looking at uh, I under B, of the prediction of events relating a speedy triumph. Together with the consolations and admonitions pertaining to it, the spirit of prophecy, the divine mind to which the prophetic faculty is due, okay, of the endowment and speech of the Christian teachers or the Israelite teachers. Now, we know the disciples was first called Christian at Antioch. But really, we're, we're Israelites. You know, Lord willing, we have the elect of the Israelite teachers called prophets. The gifts and utterances of these prophets, especially prediction of the works of which set apart to teach the gospel, will accomplish the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Okay. And the word prophecy means to say before it happens. Okay. Let's look that up in the blue letter. I'm sorry, not the blue letter, the online etymology dictionary. It says, the function of the prophet inspired utterance, the prediction of future events. All right, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the prediction of future events. So starting with our apostles and elders, they have been saying these things for going over 30 plus years now, man. And now... It's at the door. It's not tearing anymore. Okay. So we're going to get into some more scriptures, but let's go into the article. 
okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. This is from naturalnews.com. This is not a drill. Countdown to mass famine has begun, and people you know will starve and die. And the, the apostles have been saying this for years, man. Okay? It's been written in the Bible for thousands of years. Okay? The engineered mass famine in America is now on the way with the deep state sabotage of the colonial pipeline already causing trucking to suffer fuel shortages across southeast states, impairing some food deliveries. If this pipeline is not fully restored in the next 72 hours or so, food shelves in some areas will go empty and panic will take hold across the populations there. Already over a thousand gas stations have run out of gas and people are so desperate to stock up on gasoline that the federal government had to issue a, war a warning that tells people it's unsafe to store up gasoline in plastic bags. Yes, I saw our brother post a video, I believe it was on IG, Instagram, of this older lady. You know, she's just stocking up on gas, but she's putting it all in a plastic bag to throw in her trunk. Okay? <laughs> so, hey, man, the spirit could have it where a lot of people who, you know, who are storing up gas in such a manner. Hey, the spirit could have it where that gas leak out and they fucking the car burn down. You know, who knows what could happen. Lightning could strike. They could be uh, a smoker. A gunshot could set it off. Hey, hey, the scripture says, Lord, I'll come and send fire on the earth. What will I if it already be kindled? Okay, and this pipeline, this lack of gas, this is a fanner. Okay, that's all this is. Just like it tells you, in, uh, actually, I need this the other way. Just like it tells you in Jeremiah, I come to send fanners. This is a fanner. What's going over there in the Middle East? That's a fanner. Okay? And, it, and it's fanning the flames of prophecy until America, Babylon, the Great be consumed and all these wicked nations be consumed with all the wicked people in it. Okay? Until Yahweh Shai's kingdom is ushered in. It says. <clears throat> If this pipeline is not fully restored in the next 72 hours or so, that's nothing. That's what, three days? Okay. That's that's not a long time, man. Okay. When was this article updated? May 12th. Okay. So that was just yesterday. Okay. It says, food shelves in some areas will go empty and panic will take hold across the populations there. Already over a thousand gas stations have run out of gas and people are so desperate to stock up on gasoline that the federal government had to issue a warning telling people that it's unsafe to store gasoline in plastic bags. Okay. Yes, there are people pumping gas into plastic bags. Welcome to third world America. So you have people fighting at the pumps. I saw this one image where this guy was getting gas, but he had a big ass AR-15. Well, it looked to be like an automatic uh, gun, you know, watching this post as he's getting gas. So it has really become a third world country, you know. Okay, excuse me. So, yeah, man, you got people fighting at the pump. You know, I saw a video where this one lady, you know, she was trying to cut the man to get to the pump, and then she ended up spitting on him because they were arguing. He got out of the car and started fighting her. So it, it's a lot going on, man. To the spirit and power of you all about Shemel Shai. Hey, it, we're going we're gonna to come into the time where it's going to be the survival of the fittest and a lot of people ain't going to make it. You know, going back to the headline of this article, it says, Countdown to Mass Famine Has Begun. And people you know will starve and die. A lot of people ain't going to make it, man. Okay. Because their mind <clears throat> is focused on the wrong things because the Most High has them blinded. They can't see what's going on. Okay. Meanwhile, Michigan Governor Whitner is attempting to, to close another pipeline that serves northern states, right? I just saw what, a video a few days ago that said uh, New York is good. Well, New York is one of those northern states, you know, Jersey, you know, demonstrating that pipeline shutdowns are part of an engineered collapse of America's industrial infrastructure. If this deliberate, deliberate shutdown plan continues, many people will face famine this summer. As America plunges into chaos and desperation, 
is all by design, of course, as the radical Marxists who stole the election are working their way through a checklist to destroy America from within. And we know this is part of the philosophy of the elites, okay? Auto of chaos, which means order out of chaos, okay? As I discuss in today's Situation Update podcast, which has a particularly doomsday ring to it, after experiencing the supply line shortages of 2020, anyone who wasn't yet a prepper in 2021 is essentially committing themselves to debt, okay? I asked the question, how can everyone not be a prepper in 2021 after living through 2020? Now, we at Great Millstone, you know, we don't push a doomsday prepper spirit. We also don't push a stupid, foolish spirit either, okay? <clears throat> Let me get a quick scripture. I know it's in Proverbs. <clears throat> okay, Proverbs 22 and 3. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, and verse 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. And a lot of these simple ass people, they're going to pass on and be punished. Okay, they're going to look for more unemployment and stimulus checks. They're going to look for more handouts from the government that may not come. Okay. And when in the year 2021, the year of hastening of the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, and we're praying and hastening the day that this be the year. You know, they're already saying it's going to be a very uh, violent summer, okay? Now there's talks of food shortages and gas shortages, which means what? People are going to have to be stationary. <laughs> you know, a lot of people won't be traveling, you know? It says... A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hiding himself, but the simple pass on and are punished, right? Uh, same thing with these uh with these deep pop shots. You know? So let's go into this word uh prudent. The word there's our room, which means subtle. Crafty, shrewd, sly, sensible. Okay. And the uh, etymo the etymology. <clears throat> it says wise, discerning, judicious, with knowledge. Okay, deliberate. Knowing, skilled, sagacious, circumspect, rarely in literal sense, foreseeing. Okay, look ahead with foresight, man. That's what it means. It means to have the foresight. So, Yahweh Hashem Shai has given us the foresight. It'll be wise for you to get some, uh, to learn how to properly store gas, get some gas canisters, and maybe put you up some gas. Okay, it'll be wise for you to start. Invested in, in, in gold if you can, or at least some silver, man, for bartering uses. It'll be wise to go out and get you some extra food if you can, okay? Now, we're not telling you to doomsday prep, but remember, in Egypt, the Lord gave Joseph the foresight, and they helped get Egypt through the seven years of famine, okay? Now, according to the prophecy, the scripture says that my servant shall eat and my servant shall drink, Okay? So we're just having faith in the Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, but we're not going to be foolish either, okay? It says, yet amazingly, the oblivious masses have zero preparedness to still think things will all go back to normal real soon now as the, the, uh, the poke poke save everybody. Things will never go back to normal. You are living through a war being waged against the human race. And really, this is all orchestrated to cut off 
cut us off. When I say us, I mean the Hebrew Israelites, 12 tribes, okay? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans from being a, a nation, <clears throat> okay? Because what they don't seem to realize is that America has already entered an area, I'm sorry, an era of hyperinflation and wholesale currency debasement. The dollar is headed for an imminent collapse, meaning a total wipeout of all dollar denominated assets exactly which is why you need to start investing in gold and silver including bank deposits and pensions with a financial collapse on the way the anti-american marxists biden whitmer newsom are tearing down america's infrastructure leading to engineered blackouts and grid down failures that you will see more clearly by the summer okay these assaults on America will complete the economic takedown of America, resulting in a mass famine, starvation across the uh, the poke damaged, zombified population of oblivions over the next four years, according to the now defunct Digo.com website. America's population will, re will be reduced to around 65 million survivors. Most will die of starvation and disease. Augmented by lawless violence and chaos in the cities, the collapse has already begun. Okay, and you know that's pretty much it. There's a little more, but I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to get some a uh, few precepts. <clears throat> this is the book of Habakkuk, chapter two, and verse one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what I shall answer when I am reproved, okay? Now, in the ancient world, if you had your castle, your fortress, your, your stronghold, you would set men on that fortress to keep a look over the city, okay? For people trying to invade, for armies, for anything suspicious, okay? But in our day and age, the Lord has set up watchmen which shall never hold their peace, which we're going to get that too. I think it's Isaiah 62 and 4 or 64 and 2. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so, you know, in our day and age, the Lord has set up watchmen which shall never hold their peace. But the way we watch is we watch the news, we watch the internet. So a uh, a tower is pretty much the cell phone now, the laptop, okay, the television, if you will. These different media outlets, really the alternative media outlets, okay. You have to watch the, you have to watch what's going on with the uh with the financial news, okay. I was standing upon my watch and sat me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am proved. And the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Okay? For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right? All of these things are yet for an appointed time. The collapse of this place. The great famine that's coming. Okay? The second death with the nukes. The great deliverance. Yahweh Shai's second coming. World War Three. Okay, the ref 13, all of these things are for an appointed time, but at the end they shall speak. And now that we're at the end, those of us that are in the know, who the Lord's have opened our eyes, we can clearly hear and see it speaking and not lie. Nor tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry, okay? And it's not tarrying anymore. The Lord is shortening the days and he's speeding up the time. We're almost halfway through the year, okay? This is Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. That's the prophets, man. Starting with the apostles and elders on down, okay? The Lord will not be one of those. It says, which shall never hold their peace day nor night, right? Which is the reason why the Lord put the Spirit on the apostles to uh, go in about being lukewarm and daily edification, daily exhortation, doing your daily videos and hitting the highways and hedges. Okay, because we are not to hold our peace. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. 
and give him no rest until he established until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, right? And that's what we're doing, okay? And we're also warning you to let you know that's going to get very, very nasty out here. Okay, all the way to the point where some people will resort to cannibalism for survival. This is Second Hedges 15 and verse 14. Woe to the world and to them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draw it nigh. And one people shall stand to fight against another and swords in their hands. And that's going to be different races, different militias, people who voted for different presidents. People with divisions, man. Okay? And it's going to be the Egyptian against the Egyptian, too. Okay? The Lord's going to make them fight as well. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right? Because <clears throat> there's already a push to defund the police. And I believe I saw one where, where this, you know, this white cop, he said he, he wants the people to stop responding to calls of so-called black people. <laughs> you see? So there's not going to be no one to call, okay? You people don't know the name of the Lord. So whatever people have in their mind to do, that's what they're going to practice, man, because who's going to stop them? Okay, it's going to be complete lawlessness out here, survival of the fittest, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to, right? Because he doesn't have any gas to go anywhere, okay? Because the city, is, is he's shut in through a besieged, through checkpoints. He don't have the, the 19 pass, okay? The bridge is taken out, okay? It's going to be tons of reasons why people won't be able to go into another city or people won't leave the city where they are, Okay? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. They shall be troubled with famine, with with violence, okay, with uh with wars, with with foreign troops, okay. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, and spoil their goods, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And you know what? These preppers, they're going to be the targets, okay? They're going to be the ones people target. So all these preppers, guess what they have to have? They got to have pretty much uh, an army to protect what they have, <laughs> okay? They got to have like a, a bunker somewhere, man. People going to be after them, okay? <clears throat> okay, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it in this chapter. This is Second Edges chapter sixteen, <laughs> and verse uh, eighteen: the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a moment. But for all these things, they should not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth, they shall think themselves to be in good case, right? And a lot of people, they do. They think they're in a good case. They think everything's going to go back to normal, okay? And even then, shall evils go upon the earth, the sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. Okay, and this is what's coming. This is the days that are swiftly approaching. Okay, I'm going to end it with this scripture. <clears throat> This is the book of Matthew, chapter 4, and verse 13. I'm sorry. And verse 17. From that time, Yahweh shall begin to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven 
is at hand. Okay. Call all la, all praises to Yahal by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kodash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Wakasayim, Abarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings to the elect. Shalom.